we want you to write a book for women, be in our program, and you can publish and launch both books at the same time. So the one with the mermaid quotes is kind of a workbook journal for, you know, middle school age girls. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so the whole, the whole point was to inspire younger girls and make you think and sometimes not be so wrapped up in yourself, kind of, if that makes sense. Because okay. we get we get all hung up on appearance and illusion, especially with the way the Internet is. You know, we get so lost and things that don't matter. And I wanted to bring some light to that and help others really just think about it. And then, um, of course, my friend Suki um, unexpectedly passed away a week after our meeting with um, Lisa. Oh, and wow. uh, it was it was awful. It was shocking. And so I went on with the book and um, in honor of her. And oh, wow. uh, so, yeah, it's been it was quite devastating. You know. Wow. But you're honoring her memory with through this, which is just amazing. And the one thing that you can do for her, right? Because it will be her legacy uh, for everyone that reads the book. And, um, and uh, you know, I did not know that story. So I'm a little speechless right now. But uh, thank you for honoring your friend. And I cannot wait until, um, you know, I cannot wait until I read the book. Um I do know that a lot of your background is um, uh, where you come from is a little bit um, challenging um, and you can go as deep as you want to. But I know you've been bullied in school and that was one of the reasons why um, you um, you decided to write this book. If you can go back in time and talk to your younger self, uh, what would you tell her? Gosh, I would tell her that one of these days the experiences would pay off but not to believe everything you hear <laughs> because i was told that i was ugly and weird and all kinds of things that weren't fair and i was truly picked on and it, i you know i didn't deserve it and there's a lot of children that go through this that don't deserve it i mean not, nobody does right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i would um well, it's funny because my mom always said that the stuff you go through, it ends up you can help others later because okay. you went through it. Mm-hmm. So although I hate that that happened to me, maybe it was worth it because maybe I can help others that are dealing with it and maybe I can make a difference somehow. Yeah. That's that's all we can hope for is that we make a difference to others. And you know, maybe somebody that does bully others will stop and think, gosh, why am I doing this? It's because I have low self-esteem. I don't need to bully others. Okay. You know, maybe, I don't know. There's so many things that I hope will come out of it that's good. So, right. Yeah. And you bring in light to a problem which I think people have kind of uh, not realized that there has been, of course, with social media, that has escalated so much. Uh, because let's face it, when when we were young, I mean, <laughs> you know, the biggest problem I have is to make sure I was in my grandparents' house to receive the phone calls when my friends were calling me, right? Like I had to right. make sure I make it to, to my, because my parents, my grandparents used to live across the street from us. So if my girlfriend will say that she's going to call me at three o'clock. I will have to be pending on that. Then, you know, cross the street, get there, answer the phone, stay for a little bit and then leave. I mean, and, and the bullying that is happening right now and, and the option that the kids had drove, driven, uh, driven to do, which is, you know, um, uh, suicide rate and all that stuff is just so different from where it was in when I was young but now that brings awareness so perhaps a mother or a father can can treat those things um, by you sharing that story right to from your perspective what happened and what could they do better to support their child some of the mothers really do not know uh, what was happening. Do you, that I believe is one of the things that your experience will help others. You know, when you share that, you know, you're not the only one 
that is experiencing that. Um, have you right. encountered perhaps somebody that says, oh, my God, I thought I was the only one? I have. And another thing is I would be dishonest if I didn't say that I hadn't contemplated suicide myself as a very young teenager and it was because of all the torture and the lies and I believed that I was worthless mm. it ruined my self-esteem and it took so long to work on it I still have to work on self-esteem because of what happened to me all those years it made such a huge impact and one thing I will say you know it wasn't that I was being um oversensitive or a wuss I guess Because mm -hmm. I, I put up with a lot before I cry or tell my mom. And unfortunately, in this world, bullies are often like dismissed like, oh, mm -hmm. that's how they are, toughen up. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, no, the bully needs to stop their nonsense. We need mm -hmm. to not, not laugh when somebody is hurting somebody else or bullying them. And, mm -hmm. you know, at the same time, We do have, you know, we do have to toughen up a little in some ways, but, but we cannot excuse this kind of behavior to where somebody's being tormented every day. I would go home and vomit because of these girls on the bus that picked on me so much. Right. And, and it wasn't fair. And mm -hmm. I'd go into school with knots in my stomach, like from the morning ride. And then, and it was, it was awful. And I just don't feel like people should have to go through this. Yeah, and I think that comes a lot with uh, education from the parents, right? Uh, just take that responsibility to be the educator for your children and not really expect that the school is going to be doing it because in reality, the school is just a support system of what the kids learn at home. And I think a lot of the parents um, need to take that responsibility because it is not okay that your kid is torturing or bullying somebody else. Well, Polly, can tell us the website of your book? Where can people purchase the book? Um, it's on pre-sale now through Now Publishing, but it's going to be available at Books A Million, Barnes and Noble, Amazon, and Kindle, and it's available as an audio book too after November 19th. Okay, awesome. You have the website where they, everybody can purchase it or just in the Now Publishing? It's the Now Publishing website. Yeah, it is oh. About You is the name of the book. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me again the name of the book. It is About You. It is about you. Well, thank you so much, Polly, for your wonderful uh, time. Thank you for your inspiring stories. And have a wonderful afternoon. Anything else that you want to say to the audience? I just want to say thank you and personal thank you to you for having me on the show and hearing what I have to say. And I really just want to inspire others to do better and keep going. Good. Well, I just want to share with you the people that are listening, one of the quotes of my book, perseverance is a stubbornness with a purpose. John Ship. Let me repeat that. Perseverance is a stubbornness with a purpose. Remember, my friends, this is a world that is very tough if you want it to be that way. But you can take ownership of your life. You can find your purpose. You can find your inspiration. And you can make a change where you will be able to live the most exhilarating life that you can live. Because your purpose is only yours. You were created to live and achieve that purpose. Nobody else can do it. And you can use that purpose as an artist and then have a business. Or you can also have a bit. Uh, a, inspiring your community but as a business owner that uniqueness that authenticity is what people look for people do business with pe with people they know like and trust so you need to be as transparent as possible of who you are because if people know you outside Uh, your sphere of influence, but when they really meet you personally, you are not the same person, that individual is going to feel left out, is going to feel deceived, 
and they really will not like to do business with you. And remember, in the business world, you have 30 seconds to make the impression. So I really thank each and every one of you for listening to my show, for my guests to be amazing, to be an inspiring. And this is for you, my uh, the persons and the people that listen. You are unique. You are amazing. And don't forget the four components of Nyeke. Per purpose, persevere, uh, purpose, persistent, persevere, and pivot. Purpose, persistent, persevere, and pivot. Thank you again so much, my friends. Stay pure, stay positive, and stay inspired. This is Rosie Paulson. Have a good day. Bye.